This clip is brought to you by Within You Supplements. No bullshit, no fillers. Just great tasting supplements to help your performance. Enjoy this clip. Along along these lines of like you mentioned, uh, you, you're not holding back your emotions anymore. There's there's a lot of sex, and when I say sex, I mean S-E-C-T-S, of these uh, uh, emotional sides of men. There are sides of, of YouTube when they talk about masculinity where they tell men to be very careful about oversharing their emotions, crying in front of women, yeah. etc. There's the other side where women are generally saying, oh, I want men to share their emotions more, and they're so emotionally stunted, and it's because of how we raise young boys. And that's wrong, too, because men and women, young boys and young girls, are very different in the ways that they express their emotions. Mm. But there is a side where maybe young boys aren't given outlets on where they can express their potential emotions in a healthy way. And they tend maybe just to hold those things in because maybe dad doesn't talk about those things. And maybe that's taboo for him to share those things. Yeah. So he grows up repressing that potentially. And then when you become an adult, you don't know how to do it. So either it's you kill yourself because you've been holding things in for too long, yeah. or you become violent because you don't know any other way than through violence. So you have young boys, you've become more comfortable with sharing your own emotions. How are you teaching your young boys how to handle all of their things as far as their emotions are concerned? Honestly, it, it's just for, for my children, Thomas is extremely emotional. If he loses a wrestling match, he cries. If he wins a wrestling match, he cries. It's either tears of joys, tears of joy, or tears of sadness. Mm. And I'm okay with that. The only time I had issue is when he kind of was a little upset after he had a really hard match. He lost by points. And I'm like, just make sure you get off the mat. Just make sure you have sportsmanlike conduct. You know, he didn't like throw a fit, but you could tell like he was like, he was about to lose it. I'm like, just you're varsity now, bro. Like mm -hmm. you're a freshman on varsity. Just, just hold it in. Just hold it in until you get off that mat. Then go in the corner, put your hoodie on, cry all you want. Yeah. And so for me, it's just like, just express yourself. Don't be afraid. You could tell me anything. You could show your emotions. There's nothing wrong about that. Obviously, there's a time and place, mm -hmm. you know? You don't want to be in a job interview and just start crying. So you have to have situational awareness. But if you if you want to cry it out with me, if you start crying, I'm going to cry. Yeah. So it, it's one of those things where I've never cried. The, the hardest I've ever cried is during winning. Like, <laughs> that's the hardest. I Like, my daughter's team won state in soccer. I cried. Yeah. Like a little bitch in front of everybody. Didn't care. Like, fight me. You know, <laughs> catch me outside. I, I, I think I think that you need to have a healthy display of emotions. And that's, that's where I think my daughter, that's where I think I did her the most wrong as a father is that before I found my emotional capabilities, I didn't cry in front of her. I didn't show emotion. So she has trouble displaying emotion. Mm. And, but she's getting better. She's growing with me. So she's getting better. She'll, she'll break down. And I'm good with that. I have a question real quick on that note, because yeah. when some people hear that, they're like, well, that's what the woman's for. Like the woman is there to teach the child how to handle that type of thing. So, so I wonder, do you think she took a lot of that from seeing you, that lack that you believe she, mm -hmm. you know, she's working on? Well, yeah. And, and my wife's not the most emotional person either. Mm. So my wife has way less emotional display than I do. Wow. I mean, yeah, yeah. For an Italian, it's really weird. Oh, think, wow. Yeah, she's just like, she's she's not really a crier. She's she's not, doesn't get overly hyped. Like me, mm -hmm. I'm I'm a I'm extreme. I'm extremely happy. I'm extremely sad. I'm yeah. there's no like there's no middle ground. I'm usually happy a ninety-nine percent of the time. I think that the thing is like men have feminine traits. Yeah. Women have masculine traits. It's just the proportion of each of those. And, you know, my daughter, in our dynamic of our family, my daughter is me. Like, we train every day together. We hang out together. Like, she became an extension of me. She became kind of as, like, we, we just have, like, my son's probably closer to my wife. Mm. My daughter, probably closer to me. It, it, it can vary based on the week and who's doing what. But so my daughter naturally took to most of my traits, which is good or bad. She's obviously her own version of me. Yeah. But so when I showed lack of emotion, she did too. And I think she's always been so goal oriented and driven my fault too, because she was the one who was around. We started these companies. 
2006, we were two years into Civation. So she saw everything. She was the one who got screwed the most on me being gone. Mm. Cause that was when we really, really, really had to grind like 300 days a year on the road. Have you ever talked to her about it? Oh, all the time. Mm. We talk very openly. I talk more than her. She's and that's probably helpful. Yeah. Does she agree? Does she think she got screwed? I don't think she does. I think see, she realizes she's very insightful. She's, she's, she's way smarter than all of us. Like she's like probably not going to play soccer in college. This is a girl who's phenomenal, spent 10 years of her life, six hours a day training for it. Mm -hmm. But then she did the, the math and she's like, it's just not worth it. In Tennessee, community college is free and state schools under 10 grand a year. Scholarships aren't full. And unless you go in state, it's going to cost more than just going in state, paying normal tuition. Mm -hmm. Average female soccer player professionally makes about 20 grand a year. She's like, why don't I just focus on my business, train people, make a hundred K a year. <laughs> and my wife's like, are God you sure? Dang. I'm like, why are you questioning this? Like she could pay my bills. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is the, and, and for me, it was, I keep, I've at, uh, up until I left uh, Monday, I was like, are you sure you don't want to just try? He's like, dad, I'm pretty sure. And I'm like, okay. Cause you, you see someone who has all this talent, but it's, it's a dead end talent. Mm. So and, and, and she scratched the itch. So she's like, I just want to train. I want to, I want to get in great shape. I want, I love, she loves, the problem is she loves lifting more than she loves soccer. Cause she's really good at it. There's a girl who could pull, you know, what yeah, I've seen video of her deadlift. Very yeah, strong. strong. She has all the state records in Tennessee and she's going to do another meet in April. So she's, she loves powerlifting. Pat Project family. We appreciate you checking out this clip. Check out another one. Just, just, just go check out another one. Or comment down below and let us know what you liked about this one. But we love you guys. and We're going to keep bringing you the heat. So comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Okay? Peace.